everybody and welcome to my channel once again well first of all i would like to thank you that uh, you have liked and appreciated my earlier videos that was about how to get rid of public speaking you know and the second video about the preparation and planning i got many suggestions that i should uh, release a video on something motivational i said motivational oh my god there are so many motivational speakers but thinking ahead yes people require they they search for motivation either in their personal life or in their professional life they search for they seek happiness they search for opportunity these are the key terms happiness motivation opportunities in fact i'm sure like many of you who would have you know saw many videos before coming across my video because my video must have that keywords motivation happiness so i may not be the first person to tell you something about this but yeah i may be the 20th or the 100th person and i'm sure even after watching my video you will definitely search more videos on the youtube because no one actually knows how to be completely content and happy and satisfied no one actually knows that will they be able to get the answer they are looking for on youtube who knows see friends i am not a spiritual guru or a motivational speaker as such no i am just simple a common man you can say a kedar murdeshwar but yes i do have a guru or you can say a motivational speaker with me and i will of course share his name with you you can take down your notepad and pen to write his name do you want to know his name it's life yeah you heard it right it's life who can be a biggest motivator than your life man who can be a better spiritual guru than your own life your life always sends you signals you know god sends you signals your life sends you signals to help you to find out the answer but what you do you neglect it i had heard a story when i was in school from my mom that a lady is you know she is stuck up in a small boat there's a lot of flood storm going on and she's praying to god oh god save me and a person comes to uh, save her she says no god will come another person comes she says no god will come and in such a way three persons come and go and she is just just lying there and the boat as expected drowns you know the boat sinks she is drowned she dies she goes to heaven she asks the god god i respected you i expected you will help me i prayed to you what did you do it said i had given you a signal i had given you an opportunity in the form of the three men what did you do she realized her mistake but it's too late she's already in the heaven all right so now also you can say god or life which i call my guru has given you a signal in the form of a lockdown right it has given you a signal to understand what is exactly your happiness what is happiness i'll give an example before lockdown you were craving to come home you are fighting with your boss you are frustrated five days i work six days a week i have to work if one sudden day your boss tells you have to work one hour extra and you say no 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 right i i want to work extra i want to go with my family i have to spend time with my family i am more happy there you are frustrated office politics and now what you are at home it's lockdown complete lockdown are you happy what words come to my ears now oh when will the office start i'm fed up at staying home some clashes have started rising up some quarrels over petty issues the wife is working at home husband work from home their daughter or son completely on the laptop or mobile for online tuitions they fight over the laptop mobiles you don't understand me you don't understand my priorities i wish i go to office i miss the cafeteria the coffee you know the latte coffee i wish gossiping with my colleagues i'm missing everything i'm missing the boss appreciating me 
I am missing the train. I am missing the bus, the transport, the traveling part. What has actually happened? Before lockdown, you were saying, I want to go home, I am happy there. Now you are at your home, you are again missing your office. The problem lies where? It's within you. The problem is within me, within you. It's not in the surroundings. You are getting it. And that is the point. You have to identify. I teach economics. I am a professor of economics. And in economics, there is a law saying, law of diminishing marginal utility. I am not going to explain the entire concept. But what it says is, the more you have of something, the more you have of something, the less you want of it. Before lockdown, you had more of work, more of office. You wanted less of it. You wanted to go home. Now you are at your home. The more you have, the less you want. You are at home. You want to go to office. You are never satisfied. Don't run helter-skelter for that happiness. It's within you. That is what I am saying. Another part is opportunity. You always said, I don't get time to exercise. I, if someone asks you, Are you watch those movies? Are you, don't ask me. Full packed up. No time to watch a movie. No time for exercise. Don't you have time now? Lockdown? At home? Either without work or with work but at home? 24 hours at home? Have you started doing exercise? No. Why? You were saying that time that I have no time. Now you are at home. What's the problem? You are not started. So opportunity and time was there. My brother, my sister, it was there. Even at that time. You were not trying to identify it. Otherwise, you would have started doing exercise now also. You are not doing it. Problem is within you. Problem is within me. Not the environment. Getting it. Try to find out whatever are the opportunities. You're getting it. The, the time has paused for you. I had seen Mahabharat, you know, where before the killing of uh, Bhishma, if I'm not wrong, Dronacharya and Karna, Krishna pauses the time, Lord Krishna pauses the time to make them realize their mistake. That is the time given to them. And when they realize the mistake, the time starts and they go and say, Oh Arjun, you can kill me. I realize my mistakes. The time is given to you to identify that happiness and opportunity lies within you, within me. Don't miss it. So many things can be done. Look at me. I am a professor but the classes have closed. But now I understood how to use Microsoft Teams, how to use Zoom. I have upgraded myself. Upgrade yourself. These things which I am talking, I used to scribble on notepad here and there, helter skelter. My friends used to say, why don't you come out with it? I never thought of it. Today I got the time. Apart from my professional lectures, I got the time to, you know, say something. Express the feelings which I feel in the form of words and pass it on to you in the form of a video. I have brought out the talent. Even you have some talent. Identify it. This is the right time. Upgrade yourself. So what I want to actually convey through this video was happiness, motivation, opportunity, these things are within, within yourself. Don't try to find out here and there. This is the right time, you know, opportunity. I used to, you know, year, uh, year one that uh, lines in my school time, standing at your feet, gazing at the sky. How will you get up boys if you never try? It's the right time. You may have a question, but how to motivate myself from within? How to feel happy from within? I promise you, I am coming with the next video to help you to motivate yourself from within. To feel that happiness from within. But for that, you have to do one thing, of course. Do like my video, do subscribe my video. Because next video, you can directly get it at your desktop. Okay? So bye for now. I think I have shared uh, enough with you. Take care. Bye from Kedar Murdeshwar.